Don't you just feel in it? Yeah. You're not like smiling. You're not gonna be smiling too much longer, bro. Why not? Because. Sad you, you watch wrestling, right? No. I grew up watching wrestling. I did. Say. I did. You know what a heel turn is? I do. We're about to turn heel, bro. Oh, shit. Yeah. We're going heel. We're turning heel. Well, you don't have to announce it. We just do it. Oh, that's true. We that just do true. it. You know, I mean, because look. It's all about the actions. That's true. Like, I'm. I, I, I well, like. Well, first of all, introduce yourself. Oh, I am. I'm, I'm, I'm Chris. I'm K Lou. Yeah. Like, it, 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 it. Oh, and this is anti social commentary. And I'm in there like swimwear. Oh, I'm glad you came with a new catchphrase. Now, here's the thing. You, you get on social media. Actually, let me take a step back. I love doing this podcast. It's fun. I do too. You can talk to one of my friends. Safe haven. Yeah, you can say get your opinions out. Pro truth. But the problem is a lot of people don't care to see no watch it. You know what I'm saying? Now, I thought to myself, like, maybe we're just not working hard enough. Maybe it is. Maybe it's and that, that's crossed my mind as well. I'm like, damn, yeah. what are we doing wrong? I know what I'm doing wrong. Yeah, I mean, maybe, maybe not. But I, I, I think the issue is it's not us. It's them. Because... If you are what you consume, mm. you talking that shit. If you are what you, you consume, if you shit. are what you consume, mm. and you consume garbage. Ooh, I think everybody out there besides us two in this situation are garbage. Mm. You sit there and you watch Love and Hip Hop. Bullshit. You, it's like, oh, you can't spend an hour to watch a podcast with you know just shooting the shit, not doing anything ignorant. But you can watch hours at a time of Love and Hip Hop. You can sit there and watch Basketball Wives and, and you just consume all this garbage. Mm. You scroll down your Instagram, mm. looking at bitches you'll never smash, Ever. trying to live a life you never I'll probably already hit them. I mean, honestly. You want my sloppy seconds? Honestly, I think what the issue is, it's not us. It can't be us. Never. But I, I just want to give people a, a unique opp opportunity to not be garbage. Mm. And by... Sitting here and listening to us for maybe an hour or so a, a, a week, you might not, you might, not, I mean, I can't, you, you're already garbage, I can't do nothing about that, but I'm going to do my best, and I hope you do the same, of course, with at least trying to get you to not be as garbage as what you are, I mean, because you sit there, <coughs> you sit there going down your timeline, mm -hmm. just scrolling, you just can get scrolling, things. looking at, looking at whatever it is, you're looking at, Niggas baboonin' on 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 online, not really Bullshit. doing shit that's funny. Bullshit. Just do, just being ignorant. You know, you don't even have to be funny no more. All you gotta no. do is just do regular shit. Yeah. There's a dude that's on on Twitter. Yeah. Uh, what's his name? Desi Banks, I think. You know, okay. talking about parlay. Oh, I'll take your word for it. All right. All he do is just regular shit. Mm. He comes in and checks the mail. Mm. Watches TV mm. and be like, "This is how niggas come home and check the mail and watch TV." And then people wonder why their life ain't where it wants to be. Because you, you sat you sat there and you and you just consumed pure trash. Bullshit. And you wonder and you sit there and you wonder why like, well why can't I have a successful relationship? Why can't why can't why can't anything I do ever be just feel nice? Look at your, whatever it's you look at your record mended. Look at yeah. you look at that. Look yeah. at your your history. So you know? it's right there. It's written. Yeah. So from now on, I don't want to be Chris anymore. Oh shit! You got an alter ego now. I'm going back to my college days. I'm sleaze. Sleaze. Yeah. Sleaze. Look, How do you feel about this? We tried. We tried our hardest <laughs> and playing it the right way, saying what dudes you're supposed to say, doing what you're supposed to do. But oh, now it's time to. <laughs> now the problem is it just. Oh shit! Now I think as as the future of what the internet is going to be. You're looking at the future as, at, at, at the moment. I think what you need to know now is it's time that we just start calling the garbage out. And you know what? I'm agreeing with you. Okay. I'm agreeing with you. Uh, I do think there's a lot of bullshit. Yeah. A lot of bullshit. Yeah. Um. But I think we we're in the mix. We right there. We got we got to come. We got to come hard though. Yeah. We got to let them know though. I agree. We got to make. We I want to say we need to work harder, but no, no, no. You wanna you wanna. We just gotta come hard. It's like yeah, yeah come on. You just ruined my whole deal. <laughs> <laughs> we just got to come off. Uh, so, yeah. yeah. I mean, it, 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 I understand. A lot of people don't want to listen to podcasts because, you know, you're just not smart enough.
to understand the whole. You need to be more entertained. That's why. That's why. That's why Are you, you not entertained? Yeah, you know. That's why you need all the gimmicks. You need. You need to have your phone. Fuck a gimmick. Yeah, while you're you watching, watching TV nah. and playing the game at the same no time. No gimmicks, so man. This all real shit. We yeah. just gonna come off the top yeah. and we gonna let y'all know how we feel. Yeah. These are real people, real issues, real things. Yeah. Like I said, we pro truth, man, and we say yeah. we, but we do gotta say how we feel though. We gotta yeah. dig deep. Yeah. We gotta dig deep in there. Yeah. And fuck all that PC bullshit. Oh, man. I mean, I'm, that's out the window. I'm, I'm never. I don't think we ever been that way. I've never been PC, but I have been holding back. I'm not gonna lie. There'll be times where I was like, oh, I can't say that. I can't say that. Yeah. 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 No, I'm not doing that no more. Speaking of holding back, I'm gonna start off this this with. With I'm just to get into what we're gonna talk about today, I just want to start this off with Beyonce can't act, bro. Point blank, period. She's good at so much other things, and so many other things, but acting, don't know. I'm cool with Beyonce not being able to act though. That's she's funny. not someone that I want to win a uh, what is it, an Oscar, Oscar or yeah. a... Lion King was not good. Oh, you saw it. Wasn't it. bad, but it was not good. Wait, how can you not act as a voice, bro? <laughs> <laughs> Zero, like, okay, okay, no okay. No uh, all, all, let's be real, let's, yeah. off stage, off stage, Beyonce has zero, like, you hear her talk, she just has zero, I don't want to say charisma, that's not the word I'm looking for, she has zero, uh, nah, you can say that, she's boring, yeah, she's not, she's not, yeah, you gotta, you gotta plug her in, I mean, she dates Jay-Z, I see, Jay-Z seemed like he be the top nigga, it's like, boring too, though. Yeah. they're both boring, yeah, they, I mean, but, and that's, and that might work for them, but, there's a reason why she's why, like you're so good on stage. Mm. Like you st- stay there because I didn't catch that. Though. Acting ain't 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 no. But my thing, she's just a voice. How you not? I mean, a voice. Like I don't really. What was her her voice? Tone? It's like was no. It like, it's like yeah. It's like there's no. It's no. She like, wasn't surprised. I'm be real. She was the whole surprised. movie. It was I I could like like I when we were talk discussing like the uh, like did we like it or not? I could not figure out what it was that was like. The difference between this movie and the um the one from the nineties, I mean it's the same exact movie, like almost shot for shot. It's the same movie except for. I heard, they, I heard they took out a scene though, uh, when they were like laying down, and they had the, the oh yeah, of course, star yeah, 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 you can't have that part in there. Yeah, yeah. because in the um in the uh, animated version when he smacks the ground, the dust spells out S F X, but it looks like it says S E X, so that's probably why they took it out. But anyway. Uh, uh, I'm take out scenes on classic movie and you're gonna redo. I mean, it, but it, it, I could not figure out why I didn't like this version. Like, what was it? What was setting it apart? It's just the movie had no soul. Like, uh, it was lacking soul. Uh, it had no like, it had no emotion. Like, yeah. like Donald Glover. Like, first off, he makes music for niggas that wear collars when they're jacking off. But <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 this nigga like. He he has like like I, I I it's hard for me to say this because I mean it's not literally him yeah. on the screen but this is I just, he was not he was not like convincing as Simba like yeah, I did not feel convinced. These are voices though. That's the thing. Like, Scar the nigga that played Scar voices? killed it. The nigga that played Scar killed. How it. I they fucking voices up though? It's not they were fucking the voices up. It's just they had no emotion in their voice. Like that's why you not have emotion. I don't know. I'm gonna, like, go, I'm gonna have to go watch it. I can't comment yet because I haven't seen it. I, I mean, anybody that if and let's put it this way, anybody that says that this version is better is probably either smoking crack or too much, too 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 deep in the beehive. Mm. Like, cause it, it was so. This was like a be a Beyonce type thing. <laughs> she's hardly. Like, even she really, might have said like maybe a paragraph. Oh, I was gonna say like, I she didn't really say a whole lot. I didn't even see like. People even talking about her even being in it like that. Bro, she she played Nala. You seen the first? You seen the? Yeah, yeah. Nala didn't really do yeah, much. She was only in there what, in the beginning, and then yeah, and it was baby version of her in the beginning, mm-hmm. and then and then when she becomes the adult, that's when she becomes Beyonce. Yeah, but um, Simba goes on his whole little journey and shit. Yeah. Damn, I forgot about the line. I need to go watch that bitch. Bro, don't watch the animated version first. Cause then you'll be sitting there comparing, nah, 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 nah. like, oh damn, they didn't do this. You know, I saw the animated version uh, in three D. Oh damn! They released yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, did it make it better? It was cool. Me and Chris went. Oh shit! So I know it was a long last time ago. Nah. I like, mean, fuck 3D. 3D's trash. Like, it, it, 3D don't make movies better. It really doesn't. It's just another way to sell. 
higher price. Exactly. 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 I mean, like I like IMAX. IMAX, like if you go, to, it's like, a bigger screen. It's a bigger screen. It's it's like it's clear. And the sound quality. But the, but the AMCs, they got the fucking, the fucking oh, yeah, yeah, and yeah, shit yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. I was like, damn. You know, I used to work at AMC. I did not know. And that. we used to have to wear fucking white socks, blue pants, and a collar shirt. Why white socks? It was weird. Yeah. I've never heard of a job having socks as part of, well, UPS, but, uh, like. Well, y'all show y'all socks. Well, yeah, you have to have brown socks at UPS. Like, I don't. Uh, like brown do for you. Yeah, but other than that, maybe yeah. football players. It was whack. It's yeah. whack. Yeah. That's and this, oh my God, he said his whack ass uh, manager. Yeah. And she used to follow me like behind every fucking theater I had to clean. And sometimes I was just like sleep. behind. You? No, you said follow behind you. Yeah, like oh, to make she wanted sure you to crack her cheeks, bro. That's all. No, that was. she was she was, no, she was lesbian. Uh, and her name was Chris too, by the way. Damn. And uh, I used to be like, yes, ma'am. I mean, yes, sir. I mean, yes, ma'am. I mean, yes, sir. And you know what to say? <laughs> that is a good question. What are you supposed to call lesbian? She didn't get mad when I said yes, sir. Huh? She has like, no, you're good, you're okay. Yeah. Like not, was not let me rephrase, not a lesbian, but like a. a well, she was like a butch. Yeah, what are you supposed to call them? Like, like she looked like a dude. Yeah, like I feel like if that's your goal. Yeah. If you accidentally get called that. Yeah. Then you can't be offended. Like I actually knew. And you should have built. I knew a butch girl that would wear her strap on like on on regular, every day. Like she, she show it. Huh? She would show it. I mean, she would pull it out. Like, <laughs> like, she, uh, like there be times like she like literally be at well, like I used to work with her. She would be at work and she'd be like doing like this. Like I'm like, what are you doing? She's like, oh, I'm just dressed in my strap. I'm like, why the fuck you wearing that? Like I, I don't know. I guess they wanted to feel nah, feel nah. No, no. First off, I gotta assume that's more uncomfortable than having a dick. I mean, you have a dick. We don't have nothing strapped to us. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so it's pretty, like, I'm pretty used to having one. Yeah. So it's like. Plus, we're not correct 24 really, yeah. 7. Yeah. Maybe like that 22 be. 7. But, uh, but like, so the strap I, never, doesn't get soft. It stays hard the whole time, right? Yeah, that has to suck to have a hard one all the time. Yeah. All <laughs> the time. That was like That's hard all yeah, day. That was like my 11th grade. The whole 11th grade year. I, I, I have pretty good control. Yeah. Uh, I can. Sometimes I'll be at work. Yeah. Bro, have you ever got an NRB at a place where you just didn't need need, need to have one? A what? A no reason boner. NRB. <laughs> you don't know NRB? I just think it gave a goddamn acronym. No, like, I you, never heard of that. You never heard of NRB? No. Really? What movie is that from? I don't know. It's probably in a movie, but I, I, I don't know. That's I've just, heard, heard like, NRB quite often. I have never heard that. Oh. No. No reason boner. Yeah, no reason boner. Like, like you know what that is. Like, I know what that you, is. You're just hard for no fucking reason. Yeah, like, I was not sexually aroused. I'm actually kind of pissed off right now. And all of a sudden, I got a fucking. I'll be having to hide my shit and tuck it around and you know, walk all close and shit. Yeah, like, you be might like, just hey, rub against the steering wheel in your car a certain way, getting out. I'm like, oh shit, now I got a fucking boner. Shouldn't have worn these gray shorts with no with no drawers today. This was a bad idea. See, I always wear drawers. Mm. Always. I can't go a day without wearing drawers. Mm. Spoiler alert. I'm not wearing drawers now. Wow. <laughs> I'm like, wow. I'm lying. I'm lying. No, you probably ain't lying. No, I got, I got drawers today. I will. But I will, I will say, will. If I'm, if on my day off, it's a good chance I am. If I'm going to the gym, yes. See, but. I don't like being naked. That's not naked. I got on, I got on basketball shorts. I like a nice, do you see? I need, I need socks, I need yes. drawers, and I need a shirt. Whether that's a fucking jersey shirt or yeah. a, a fucking, what's yeah. the real, A shirt, yeah. tank top. Yeah. White beater. Something. You can't say that no more. I say it. Wife beater. Wife beater. I mean, is it really called wife beater or is it white beater? Wife beater. I mean, I, I mean, we, you think about the root of it, it's like, damn, that's kind of fucked up. Like, <laughs> this is, that is the uniform of a nigga that beats his wife. Fuck it up, dude. <laughs> like, he takes his work shirt off just to beat his wife in his uh, his undershirt. You know? Wow. Like, I, like, he treats his work shirt, shirt, work shirt better than his beater. wife. Like, <laughs> like, <laughs> like I, I can't. I can't beat this bitch ass in my, in my work shirt. <laughs> <laughs> can't get no blood and no stain on this. On oh, my shirt my name on the exactly. side. Exactly. Cursive. Yeah. yeah. Hank. <laughs> I always wanted one of them type of shirts. Bro, I'm, I mean, you gonna buy one. <laughs> I wanna use it. I don't know, shit. Make some money. Oh, yeah. It. Like a mechanic <laughs> shop. <laughs> That's like mainly the type of thing you do. People that work in like factories. Yeah, factory warehouses. Yeah. Goddamn. I worked in the warehouse for three years. I've never got a you know, personalized shirt. That's some bullshit. Damn. I be looking at warehouse like, man, I will work in here sometime. I walked this one warehouse today. They was just in there chilling, smoking and shit. Bro. I was 
was like, y'all niggas, what are y'all doing? I see that shit all the time. First <laughs> argument, I, I get instantly, I, I get instantly pissed off when I uh, pull up to some, uh, uh, like to the office and I see on a note delivered to the back in the warehouse. Oh, I, I get so pissed off. I'm like, what the fuck? Why can't y'all take this shit right here? It's a little fucking envelope. Why I gotta take it all the way back there? Yeah, usually I just take it in front anyways. No, you act like you didn't see it. Like, oh, I didn't. Next time. I next time. time. I got you next time. I got next time, time I will. Definitely next. Remember. Trust me, I got you. Yeah, I've done that before. I'm not going to lie. I've done that. You always got to act like you did something for the first time. Oh, I do time. that in apartments all the time. I'll be like, um, I've never lived over here before. And, um. Nigga, we saw you yesterday. <laughs> these notes say that to deliver straight to office. I didn't know if y'all took them in the office. Uh, it's all you got to do is just say, it's in here. <laughs> they ain't got to yeah. look in there. They're like, oh, let me see, huh? I can't show you. Uh, It's like proprietary what away? information. <laughs> God damn it. Yeah, you got to um, so, uh, so yeah, I mean, uh, what, what happened this week? Oh, well, that girl beating her, uh, man ass on the airport. What, was that her man? Yeah, that was her dude. I was, see, I was kind of confused. That was her dude. It seemed like, that like, was her dude. That was her dude. Like, okay, uh, so, uh, did they ever release their names? I know, I got the guy's name. The guy's name was Mimo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I didn't get that. the girl's name. Yeah, so. I didn't get the girl's name. So let's let's guess what airline it was probably. I'm going to go Spirit. I got to assume it was I was going to say. Or Southwest. Uh, no, I was going to say Express Jet or whatever. Oof. Express. But Oof. this. I'm just talking about. But the green? I mean, yeah, 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 yeah. But I'm thinking it's Spirit, though. It, it had to be. Well, for the people that don't know what yeah. happened. Yeah. So apparently, it was a dude. Named Mimo. Named Mimo. Yeah, Hopefully that's that. his nickname. Yeah, I hope so. Uh, he was with his girl, and they boarded a the, uh, Spirit Airlines plane, right? We're assuming. Uh, We're assuming a Spirit. He looked at a woman. Did he? He looked at a woman. Right. She felt a little bit jealous about it. Okay, up until this point, I'm, I'm on her side. I can understand. She felt a little jealous about it. Yeah. Um... Apparently he didn't. He like shrugged it off like it didn't mean anything. Okay, I can see what that would piss somebody off. And then she started to scream at him, yes, well, curse him out. Started going too far. Yeah, and then the the stewardess comes and asks, yeah. uh, you know, can you quiet down a yeah. little bit? And there's a child behind you. The kid was like twelve yeah. or something. And she's yeah. like, I, I I fucking see the child. Yeah, I'm consulting the child or whatever the hell. Yeah, she yeah. So. She basically just kept going on with it, uh, yep. slapping old but old boy in the back of the head. Yep. Eventually, they were trying to get him up. Eventually, she got up. No, he got oh, up. Yeah, first. he got up. Yeah, he they, got the up. stewardess is trying to get her, mm-hmm. get him to. He's move walking to down. Seat. Yeah, he walking down the lane. Old girl throws a laptop at her. Where did she get the laptop? It was probably hers. I, I didn't. See, like, I didn't see her grab the laptop. I just see like one yeah. moment she's standing, the next moment the laptop is coming down. Yeah, my man's just running like I don't know. I don't need to call. So yeah. apparently, um, it hit a, uh, it hit a like a, another stewardess or something. Oh shit, she's yeah. my boss. Another traveler. So, yeah, they had to get kicked off. My thing is when you see the video, the white boy. Duh, <laughs> the shit looks like an SNL skit. Yeah. The white boy sitting there, I'm looking around like, Bruh. both of the, it was a black dude. The too. black dude changed. It was like. <laughs> that shit was funny, dude. Yeah. It, it looked like an SNL skit though. But see, now I fucked up the world we are. This PC, the PC lifestyle we live. You said that shit funny. Now F- switch the gender genders around. Oh, if a guy gets that to the woman. Oh my god. Oh, of course. Oh, yeah. You, you oh, said it was course. funny. Oh no. my god. Matter of fact, someone's probably offended right now because I just talked about you. Oh, what would have been in jail? Oh, I mean, I mean, the oh, girl what? said like you going to jail for assault. And she's like, I don't give a fuck. Like, I mean, you should. And that's the thing. That's the thing. She said something very, 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 very important. What's that? When she when he said you're gonna go to jail, she's in her response. Yeah. She knows that the police are on her side. Yeah. She know it. And, and even if she, she go to jail, she don't get like a fraction of what a nigga would got. It would have got. <laughs> and on top of that, and when, if you beat your woman and they find out in jail, oh, God, it's a wrap for you. She gonna go to jail, probably run that bitch. <laughs> they they know she can fight. That shit crazy. That's why. That's why I mean, I hate when females be like, I won't take a charge for you, bitch. First off, I right, take this listen, charge. Listen to the facts. First off, what y'all, what y'all, y'all forever saying, oh, men make more than women, blah, 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 blah. Mm-hmm. So, off of that, would it make more sense for me to go to jail or for you to go to jail? Who's bringing home more money at the moment? Now, number two. <laughs> That's a good way to bitch, say number two. bitch, 
Bitch, <laughs> I'm gonna get less time. I mean, you will get more time than I am. I'm, wait, hold on. I said no, no, no. I'm gonna get more time than more. you. Yeah. So, you'll bounce first. You'll bounce back. Mm -hmm. Pretty. I wouldn't be dating you if it wasn't pretty. Oh, Sean, call me. I wouldn't answer it, but Sean, if you're watching this, you're too old for me. Old, old to be calling me at 1027. <laughs> 37. 10.37 on oh, Friday. What the hell? Uh, he's 41. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's Wait, what did you say? Too old. Did you look at this? Yeah. You can see that? Yeah. Your vision is prolific. I paid quite a good money, amount of money for these damn contacts. There's a reason I'm holding on to these last, this last pair of shit. I forgot you got contacts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need you to start take, wearing your glasses, dude. I need to take them bitches out right now. My eyes is killing me. So, anyway, uh, like, why can't, like... I'm, you always for saying I make more money than you, and then on top of that, I'm gonna get less. I'm, you gonna get less time than me. Why can't you just take the charge? Take the charge. You know what? Matter of fact, you probably not even go to go to jail for if I had a bag of weed on me and you took that charge. I'm like, oh well, you know, it was a mistake. You probably don't ever do that again. Me, they gonna be like, oh shit, we gotta put you down for life. Mm. <laughs> shit. And, and see, that like old boy couldn't even do anything. That's the sad part. Yeah. He couldn't do anything. There was nothing he could do. Nothing you could do. There's nothing. There was, and all he can't he can't like, hey, chill, stop. He and everybody was like, oh my god, even that? No. How could you do that? Mm. Blah, blah, blah. You can't do that. But you know what? She she <clears throat> fucked up. No, what do you mean? She fucked up. Because now everybody is looking at this and they're able to put their opinion on it and they're mm. able to see that she was wrong as fuck. Yeah, but here's the thing. This is how garbage uh this is how garbage uh, our society is. They gonna see that video. Everybody gonna find her on Instagram. I bet she she, she looked like she was a high in the, in the in, but I bet you. I thought they, they look like two big women, big people. Well, whatever. No, they gonna yeah. get on her Instagram. They gonna find who she is. She gonna become some type of star. Like, oh, that's the girl that did this, this, and this. Oh, she kind of bad. Blah blah blah. Wow. She gonna have a little fifteen minutes of fame. If this bitch become a rapper after this, I'm gonna be mad. Would you be surprised? No, yeah. but I'm gonna be pissed. You remember that bitch? I'm done. Bitch? That was uh, getting into it with some girl on, on Spirit Airlines and started busting the twerk. You know what I mean? No. What? They gonna fucking mid fight. Cancel, what, she, gonna, cancel she was, Spirit Airlines. <laughs> they don't get this shit. Yeah, down. I mean, I, 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 I flew on Spirit mm -hmm. Airlines for the first time in my life this year. Damn. It wasn't bad. You couldn't recall that. Bro, I was confused. I was trying to I'm so used to United. I'm, just, I'm like. Nah, there's no recline. Nah. <laughs> like, bro, I gotta sit like this. You gotta sit at a 90 degree angle. Like, <laughs> like the whole time. You can't get comfortable? No. Like, Hell no. And you, and you gotta pay to bring your bags on? Bro, I walked I walk out with perfect crazy. posture. Shit. Everybody in that motherfucker should. Yeah, just walking out like everybody. I was, I mean, <laughs> you see them all the time getting off the plane, you're like, oh, why did everybody on spirit look like they gotta take a shit? <laughs> because shit. Wasn't comfortable on that whole plane. It took two hours. Exactly. Nah, I don't, I don't know what they told us look like though on the plane. Are you gonna use the bathroom? No, I, I don't know. I'm gonna try to get hepatitis. <laughs> Fuck out of here. You know, dude, I, I always like, use the bathroom. I, in my place. mind, I feel like I'm gonna go to the bathroom. It's gonna look like uh, you see a soul plane, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking DL Hughley gonna be there, <laughs> smoking a black. That's what I assumed it was gonna look like. Nah, shit. nah that's a, that was actually a good airlines. I mean, that was a big fucking bathroom. We like a big fucking plane, bro. I got like three levels. Bro, yes. <laughs> well, I mean, I've been on a plane with the 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 stairs. I'm, I'm sure you have. I've been on there yeah, one. It was one level. I don't know, three levels. You ever right? been on the jumbo jet where you had like the stairs that go up? You I, never been on that? I've been on one where they had uh, upstairs. That's yeah. It. But yeah. they didn't have three levels. Oh, well. Right. I mean, they didn't have three on Soul Plane. They just had, they they had a club on the top. And they, they had, had a regular. They had, a, they had the uh, three. It was just long. They had the, the first class, they had the business class, and they had the low class. Yeah. <laughs> Niggas was back there standing on the. On the Niggas uh, was mad, too. They wiped the pop up. One of the most even little movie dogs. So, damn. Oh, God damn. That's another shit. story right there. But I fuck with so playing yeah. as far as like back then. Yeah, I don't yeah. know if I could watch it as an adult and laugh. Yeah. Uh, uh, I ain't seen it. Um, you should give it a try. Um, yeah, I mean, we well, have yeah, that bathroom wall. I was going to say. Uh, oh, the Spirit Airlines bathroom. Well, I was going to say bathroom, uh, airplane bathrooms in general. Like, you bigger than me. And I'd be cramped oh, in there. Yeah, so yeah. I know you. I know you. Uh, I know you can't eat a bitch like this. Yeah, like, like, like so. Uh, have you ever took a shit on a plane before? Yeah, hell yeah, bro. Plenty. Bro. Man, I used to change shit out of planes. What do you mean change shit? 
Oh, like the yeah, yeah I used to do yeah, the yeah, what yeah. they call it, the lavatory and yeah, the uh, and the water shit. Yeah, you told me, and then you said something like <laughs> like some last like somebody got shitted on and like mm -hmm. you never came back. Never came back. I don't blame you, but I've shit on a plane before like once. I fucked that I up. I always though. shit on planes. I always use the bathroom on planes. I just go, nigga. I be having them shit. You too big for that though. Like, shit. I, like first off, the, the the seat is super like. Yeah, I'm 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 I'd be lying if I told you. I, I get all my piss in the toilet. On, uh, oh, I on know. Plane. It's impossible. That is disgusting. It's impossible. That is disgusting. Bro, that shit is so goddamn oh, low. God, that shit is disgusting. And then, and then the target is so small. And then I'm not touching it, so I'm not going to lift that bitch. Yeah. And then you can't get your foot on it. It's not like a regular toilet where you put your foot and lift it. Yeah. So, you just got to cut. So, do you bare ass an airplane seat? No, I don't bare ass anything. I always. You know, double, yeah, double, double uh, wrap it, double wrap. What is that? Toilet paper. Yeah, do that or whatever. Yeah, you know, sit on the toilet paper. Do you pull out the phone? You wrap it at home? No. Oh, that's stupid. You never know. I want to wrap my own my my own ass. You never know. You I do be, know. You what the fuck safe. you talking about? You gotta be safe at all at all costs. <laughs> Hell no. I tell people though, like if you come over and take a shit, make sure you wrap the toilet though. Are you actually making people do that? Hell yeah. Oh damn! Do you wrap? Do you wrap the toilet at other people's house? Yeah. Yeah, you can't take a shit over here, waste my toilet. What's wrong with you? <laughs> shit, I'd be pissed off. Like, hey, how come every time cereal come over here, like the toilet paper would be gone? I ain't taking shit to Charles yet. Yeah, you need to keep it that way. Nah. Like, shits are coming. Trust me. I'm sure. But we have enough game nights with enough enough terrible food. Like, the, the, the stomach gonna get the growl. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I would hate to be old boy, man, because I was in a relationship like that where, you know, physicalities were in yeah, play. Publicly, though? No, never in public, though. That's, see, that's the most fucked up part. Like, yeah. even if you and your woman having an argument, mm -hmm. like, y'all should never show it in public. Like, well, I mean, we actually were having this conversation just yesterday, actually. It should never be shown in public. Like, God damn it, Mike. Why don't you just hold that <laughs> Like, like Mike, a what it do? What yeah. it do? It's yeah. your boy K. Luke. Yeah. Yeah, I ain't ready for that, though. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm absolutely not ready for that. Yeah, I got <laughs> bars. Okay. Bars. Okay. Call the homies. Uh, anyways, yeah, man. Why don't, why don't you try sliding your mic more forward in the clip? Well, why don't you tell me that, then? Well, I'm trying not to talk. Not I didn't say I didn't say all the way up. No, I'm just like that. That's all. This is gonna be the weight. The weight is gonna be this dis, dis, distributed. I'm just, yeah, I'm trying to help you we make it more evenly distributed. distributed. Yeah. Um. Yeah. What? So what? What are you supposed to do as a dude in that situation? Like, I guess, I guess he did what you're supposed to do. Was like, he know? did what you're supposed to do, but it, it's it's the things he's supposed to do prior to that even happening. What happened at home? What happened <laughs> on that car ride there? Shit. Why Apparently you, he was looking at ass. What happened? Why did you even pick that woman, knowing that she's crazy like that? See, that's the thing. They were, not only were they in public, they, they were, were on in a plane. They were, exactly. And you in a wide space that's true. At least they didn't take off. And yet. she saw red, though. Like, she didn't give a fuck. And that's that's the worst about the, like women like that. Like, And trust me, like, 90% of women are like that. So. 90%? 90. You are brave with your number. 90. <laughs> Sir, you are reaching. I, what am I reaching for? Reach. 90% of women are like that. You're not even good at math to be given those. I numbers. love math. <laughs> I don't care. 90%? <laughs> yes. Out of here. Are y'all looking up the numbers? No. no I'm oh. not looking up the number. I'm looking up the oh. I'm a woman. You're going to say that it's not even okay. Well, you might be part of that 90 or you might nah. be part of that 10. 90% is a reach. How's that a reach? 90% of women will get on a plane and fuck you up if you look at another girl. Period. Or 90% of the type of women you date. And apparently Mimo too. Okay, well you must be a like a Mimo. I ain't like Mimo. Simo. <laughs> <laughs> Kimo. Nah, that Kimo. Yeah, that's nah. damn. Yeah. That was that was a shit. Say sorry. That was, no. that's <laughs> my middle name. It, no. <laughs> you tried. It, 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 it sounded good at, at first and then you went, <laughs> It's, it's all damn. Bad. That's that's bad. So yeah. So I mean, it, you done with this 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 ratchet home? We got there playing. I, I, I mean, have, I have no. I words. Just want, I'm, I'm just, disgusted. I'm disgusted too. But at mm -hmm. the same time, like I just want my young, I just want my young boys to know my young bulls out there that's yeah. that's growing up and that's trying to find them. Yeah. Or first of all, you shouldn't be trying to find you anything as a young as a young buck anyway. Okay. You should be worried about your studies. Yeah. And uh, you know, get the them. Bible. Yeah. yeah. But. We know how 
this society is and life is in general, where everybody wants to be loved and love someone else. Make sure you get a, a woman that's going to listen and be understanding. And when she gets mad, she don't see red and just start fucking you up mm. for little shit. Mm. Because, okay, yeah, he looked at another girl. Okay, that's cool. I'm pretty sure he looked at plenty of women. Like, yeah. you don't hit okay look at, uh, Like, how would you feel if your girl was looking at another dude? You, does that bother you? No, it, it doesn't, actually. Mm. It doesn't. I guess it depends on the look. Because if, if, say you was in the car and you and, your, and, and your, you and your girl's in the car and then, mm -hmm. like some girl with a fat ass is standing outside the car and you do like some shit like this. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I can see why. And then I can see why you would be upset. You know what I'm saying? You just hit the back of somebody's car. Look at that ass. <laughs> yeah. I can see why you would be it's upset. It's irresponsible. Yes. But, see, the secret is, the secret, what you're supposed to do is like, hey, that girl ass. Nasty, right? <laughs> <laughs> Too much, right? It's too big. Too much. That's all I'm glad. I, this is why I'm glad. I can't stop looking at <laughs> I got somebody like you that's perfectly built. Like, because that is too much ass. I don't even know what the hell you're going to do with all that ass. Uh, you know what? I'm going to go over there and talk to her real quick and ask her what she does with all that ass. Get her number. <laughs> God damn it. What is your number? Like, I'm going to help you lose this weight. Yeah, exactly. That's all. That's, that's all. Gonna that's I'm going to train you. Yeah. You need help. Yeah. I need to call and ask what you be eating, cause obviously you eat good food, so I need to know. You're too good. Yeah, I need to know. And too frequently. Eat. Yeah, that's that's all. That is. Nah, uh, I don't know. I, I think jealousy though, when you when you start getting into those jealousy emotions, mm -hmm. man, you, <sighs> you probably should break up with them. No. Well, I think jealousy is helpful. I mean, uh, no, not uh, healthy is what I'm saying. I'm trying to say, I guess that's, that's a healthy emotion to have. I, I wouldn't always say healthy. Uh, I mean, I guess. Maybe a little bit of jealousy to, so so your partner knows that you love them. Yeah, you know? I, I think a little jealousy goes but, a long way. Like, cause like like if you tell them like, oh, I wish I could be one of your coworkers so I could be around you all day every day. No, that comes off as crazy, right? <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's what I'm saying. There's a, there's a, there's a, there's a fine line between jealousy and then clingy, no, yeah, exactly. or jealousy yeah. and and just just wanting to be in the facility around that person. So, just, so what if your girl's like? Why you always be hanging out with your friends? Why can't you have? Why can't you want to spend time with me as much as you want to spend time with your friends? That healthy jealousy? I don't. That's a tough one. That's a tough one because you know women want that time. Yeah. But are you supposed to just give up all your your past friends mm -hmm. just for your woman or? Can okay. You, you know. Okay, but what if your girls like when you with your friends you seem like you're super happy, but then when you with me mm -hmm. you're not you're not as happy. So so what? So then what? That's when you look at it like, damn, what are you? Why aren't you making me happy? Like, well, first off, what bitch, the fuck are you doing? Uh, because I've known them, these niggas my entire life, and they funny. You not? <laughs> Make me laugh. <laughs> Make me laugh. Speaking of women being funny, which is like never. Do you hear about that girl that um made that joke about? <laughs> <He's like, "Hold laughs> <on." laughs> <laughs> women are funny. Like who? Look at Amy Schumer. Man, the most unfunny bitch you could think of. All right. Anyways. Yeah, you hear about the girl that made the joke about Exodus Satoshi on? About him dying? Yeah, well, I mean, that was part of the joke. But what, is, what did she say? No, I didn't hear it. Very funny joke, in my opinion. Oh. Which is, again, hey, I shocking. You, ex. Which is shocking, because, you know, women aren't funny. Uh, no, because it's about death. Well, okay, so this is the joke. She said she said that uh, the day she, that, I don't, and I don't want to fuck the joke up, but, so I'm, this is not word for word what she said. She was like, the day XX and Tashion died, he died with $50,000. He was about to spend $50,000 on a new motorcycle. And she was like, in that moment, I was like, damn, this is a good time for me to get Venmo. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I mean, which it, it's funny because it's, it's true. I didn't like, think. Why are you walking around with 50, 50 racks? Like, that's unsafe. Like, I'm not saying that he deserved to die or that anybody deserves to get robbed. Nah, fuck I'm just that. saying I get it. I get why you would Well, I know why he was running around 50000 He was about to buy was a car. It, was, yeah, young nigga, got money. Yeah, I mean, I, or a motorcycle. Was about a motorcycle. Yeah, I think it was a motorcycle. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm not saying he was wrong. Nah. I'm just saying I can understand why somebody would be like, oh, it's probably that time for me to go get Vimbo. Like, now, that, that is a good time to get cash up. Yeah, <laughs> like, like, really. Because so, I'm only going to take 88 cents out of that. Well, maybe. Because I probably don't want that. 
But uh, yeah, uh, I, never have 50, I ain't never had fifty thousand in the Cash App app, so yeah, I have no idea. I wouldn't be sitting no fifty thousand across Cash App it, it, or Venmo. I'm not using a fucking app. I'm using my bank. <laughs> like, like I'm, you can go to your bank and get a check. Debit card. Debit cards exist. Yeah, that too. People don't use debit cards anymore. Yeah, I use a debit card every day. Uh, I don't carry cash. I don't even like cash app. Yeah. Well, we done moved on to Zelle because cash app takes change out. That was cool, but you gotta have Bank of America with it, don't you? Uh, or Wells Fargo? Bank of America or Wells Fargo? Or I Chase. Chase. Or Chase, okay. Awesome. So maybe it's Chase and Bank of America. Guys. Oh, you got bread over there with Chase? You gotta keep a certain amount in there. Yeah, All so right. does Bank of America. They, Bank of America charges you a monthly fee if you don't if you don't get a a check over two fifty, I think, put into your bank account. And uh, I mean deposit. You don't have a two hundred fifty dollar deposit, or uh, you don't have over. I think I can't remember how much in your savings. They oh, take yeah, a, a monthly yeah, yeah. fee out of it. They do do that. I forgot about that. Yeah, I don't have to worry. Bro, about that's that. fucked up. Like you penalizing me for being broke, basically. They they like if you ain't got no money, you don't need. <laughs> that's the that's <laughs> it's like shit. Oh, you only have twelve dollars in your bank account. Well, that twelve of that is gonna be the monthly fee. I don't know what you're gonna do with the other twelve. Yeah, I don't remember zero dollars that's in there. I remember my freshman year of college though, no income, mm -hmm. none, yeah. and I was like negative like two hundred dollars in my bank account. Yeah. Hell yeah! I looked one day, I was like, God damn, what is going on? And I'm like, oh yeah, we take money because I was like, oh yeah, if you stay under, if you stay in the red for too long, they'll start they'll do a fee, the do the overdraft fee plus another fee for being in the red. Yeah, my whole freshman year of college, I didn't have a card. I had to use them buck, Ram bucks. You should have called your parents. That's one of the moments where it's like, hey, I dad, I need. I should have. I got. I'm having a moment. <laughs> I I think I waited till the next uh, the little uh, refund check. Yeah. Well, I've only yeah. overdrafted my account one time in my entire life. I mean, you're very responsible. Well, I did. It wasn't. I mean, and, and even then, it wasn't like a hundred percent my fault. It was my fault, but like it was, I just was misinformed. Like uh, when 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 I first got my bank account, like they um, take. Uh, say I, I spend five forty, the extras they they round that up to to six dollars and at sixty cents they put my my uh, oh yeah, 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 yeah my yeah. savings that's the um, yeah what they call that shit keep I the can't, change uh, yeah maybe that's what it keep calls. the change yeah, right. keep the change so but I didn't know that it was sixty cents of my own money I thought the bank was giving me sixty cents oh my god and my dad was like <laughs> well you just learned a lot the first lesson about having a bank the bank's never gonna give you money. You give them your money and they keep it <laughs> and they loan your money out <laughs> to other people. So no, no, that's funny. Is that uh, I didn't know. He was like, <laughs> he was like, don't worry about it. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll pay the fee for you. But oh, that's good looking. Yeah, I got a good father. Yeah, yeah. But I didn't know. I, 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 I mean, I miss, I misunderstood what they were saying. That's all. <laughs> like, oh, I'm gonna get sixty cents every time. I, I really thought the bank, <laughs> like, cause like this is how she worded it. She was like, and, and we'll take, we'll round it. And we'll put that sixty cent in the so like it's that. a lot of we as in we as in Bank of America will put the sixty cent. No, you you're saying we as in me, your bank teller, and you, the person that's putting the, the money. When I say we, we I mean, I'm going to take your money <laughs> and I'm going to put it in your bank account that you put. I mean, your savings account that you. Uh, What's your check? actually not a bad idea though. To What's be that? honest. Putting the key to change. Oh, I said that. I said that. It's not a bad idea. Yeah, I said that shit. Cause I remember one time I came out with like two hundred dollars. Like, oh shit, bro, that shit like it really it, up. like it really comes up in, when you're in college. Like you be like, Whew, fuck, I need some money." And then like, oh, you just look at your savings like, "Oh, I have a quick little twenty dollars right mm -hmm. here. It's gonna keep me to you good tomorrow." You got you a little lunch money and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Subway, you know, bro, ain't nothing worse than eight, edge up or something. Ain't nothing worse than being so broke you gotta show up to the club at nine o'clock and get marked. <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> Y'all never seen never do that? No, I ain't never been that early. That's too early. Damn. You see, you see me. I ain't going out till twelve. You know, looking back, it's like, damn, you really probably should not have went out. Like, if you have to get to the, the club so early that that uh, what is that three hours before it really gets popping. Yeah. Uh, like, cause it don't like nine nine to ten, nine to eleven really. Yeah. It's eleven crazy. is still early. Yeah, eleven thirty ish. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Twelve is your best bet. Yeah. Leave the house at eleven thirty. Pull up about twelve. And then when you pull up, you know, you just in there and then you can have all the fun you want to have. You can get all the numbers you need to get. See, that was my thing. I just, I just wanted to grab the numbers. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then and then text them. Maybe catch a roll up. Yeah. Because I always, this is my 
whole dream. Yeah. My whole dream was to go to the club, okay. find a baddie, and take her home. Yeah. Never happened. Never happened to me either. Never happened. I don't know how many. A lot of that's actually, happened to me before. Really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. You, you times, just man. met her that no, not saying you knew her from back then and y'all seen each other uh, at the club. No, I'm uh, talking about fresh. You don't know her. She don't know you. Y'all just y'all met at the club. Y'all get it in. Right, fun shit. story. Fun story. Freshman year. Wow. Uh, 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 See what light skin niggas go through. Freshman year of, of college. <laughs> <laughs> freshman year of college. All right. So uh, we at the club. And I don't know why I was feeling myself. I literally me will back me up on this. I literally never do this. I was feeling myself. I went to the girl. Like we were dancing at first, and then like I got a number. Okay. So, so we supposed to go down. Yeah, we hit each other up. Uh, and um, y'all so texting in the club? No, after after. Oh, okay. after yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> this like this was at the end of the night. Yeah. yeah so like th again, this is my freshman year, so we're still on campus, like in living in in, in the dorms. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. And um, Fun times. so I go to her dorm, and she's like, uh. Uh, I think I might have made, offended her because she was like, if you want to be my man, then I think you should probably leave because I don't want to do anything like, you know, um, on the first night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If, you know. Uh, and if, he was like, I was like, would I leave? Yeah, I was like, I was like, <laughs> I was like, nah. Like, I tried to play it off at first. I was like, yeah, maybe I should leave. Because I don't want her to feel like a hoe. That's the whole thing. You got to make this girl. Of course. You got to treat her like she's not a hoe. But in your mind, you really know you're going to treat her like a hoe. That's of course. Cool. Like I'm gonna, I'm gonna smash. And I'm, I'm gonna never gonna talk to you. Yeah. I might talk to you again, but just, just, just smash. smash. Like, of course. like I'm gonna hey, change how you been. Like, how you been, Taylor? Yeah, hey, good morning. I don't care about your morning. I care about. I <laughs> I, I'm consistent with the good mornings. Oh my god, I'm consistent. Man, morning. I got ass. I get Damn. hella ass off them good mornings. I'm sure you said a good morning on Monday. You fucking on Saturday. That's, that's, <laughs> I'm that's, trying to tell you. If you send that good morning Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And you skip Friday, yeah. they're going to text you Saturday, what's up? I'm like, oh, my bad, I, I was busy Friday. I'll take you word for it. I, I believe Trust you. man. I believe you. I believe you. <sighs> um, so me. anyway, uh, turns out, this bitch is crazy. I never smash. Oh, you didn't smash? No, but this bitch is crazy. Turns you out. how crazy she was. Huh? Dude, you, she probably was crazier than that. Oh, yes. Crazy. So we started calling this bitch Voldemort. Like, you couldn't say her name. Like, Voldemort. like literally, if, I'm not going to put her name out there, but let's call her, give me a girl's name. Sheila. Okay. We, <laughs> literally, we would say the word Sheila, and this bitch out of nowhere. And we'd be like, we'd be chilling like, hey, Chris, you talk to Sheila? I'm like, hell no, nah, I ain't talk to Sheila. All of a sudden, this bitch come walking into the, oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. like, yo, like, swear to God. Devil. Swear to God, bro, like. Mind you, Texas Tech has like 30,000 people on oh, campus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, there's no reason I should run into this bitch. Ever. Man. And it's every time someone said her name, like, people, like, lip. Some she had man. me, my roommate, and our homie Mark, Marcus shook, nigga. Like, we was like, how is it that we say her name? This bitch is showing up every fucking time. This bitch is crazy. That's how it goes. And when I say crazy, I mean, like, if I had a car, she'd probably keep that bitch crazy. Because you didn't smash? I'm, no, because I. Because we because we didn't smash, That's I had no interest in talking to her anymore. And she was trying. She was trying. Yeah. The sad part about the whole situation. First off, wait. This is what? Wait. Wait. <laughs> you started this off with Mia can back me up. I literally never do this. You damn right. I don't know about you doing no shit like this. We a whole relationship. I don't talk to like, but of I, course I, I don't see you talking to no girl. But I know I don't. What? But I'm telling you, like I don't talk. <laughs> you know I don't talk to like like before you. I just I'm like, wait a minute. You know me. You know I don't talk to no girl. You know I don't talk to no girl. I'm like, wait, you got my point though, right? <laughs> yeah. Now I gotta be watching you. Now, now I gotta join the ninety percent. <laughs> Already there. No, I'm not. That is not my style. I'm trying to tell y'all, man. I don't have time to be hawking but, nobody. But you know what? I kind of fucked up though, because even though she was crazy, and I would put, I don't want to put the stories out there on why she was crazy. Not only because I don't want to, but I, I just don't remember. Uh, it was a hazy time. Um, it turns out this bitch is rich. She had Benz. Her dad's an engineer. She's African. Though. Not worth it. Oh. Yeah. I don't know why I was thinking white girl the whole time. No, nah, her real, I mean, cassette, but her real name, her her name That's starts why. starts with an NG. 
So she's that type. She's like super African. She could have been uh, Asian too. No, she was super African. The winds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but it was NGO. Like, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> like, because there, that's the first thing you say to say her, the, if you were to say her whole name, you would, it starts off with. There's a lot nigga. of people. With, there's, there's a lot of people. <laughs> her name was Ngozi. <laughs> there's a lot of people. Check on Facebook. Oh, oh I guarantee she added me. <laughs> Duh. That, there's a lot of people that with, uh, with that NGO name. Though. Yeah. Like, Bro, like, people think African. my last name is African. I don't understand that. What's your last name again? Agnew. I can see that. It's it's Scottish. <laughs> you, can't, you can't get any more white than that. <laughs> it's the whitest fucking last name. Like, on paper, I'm the whitest person you'll ever meet. Christopher Anthony Everett Agnew. <laughs> That is a white fucking name. Like, why are people like like rich white at that? Like, rich white people would be like, yes, I'm Bradley. Um, um. Well, that's the thing. <laughs> like, black and white names, quote unquote, like they're like basically the same. Yeah. Like it's someone's in the middle name. And that's when you're like, uh, it's a nigga. Unless you see somebody named like DeAndre. Every like I've never seen no nigga, no white dude named. No, DeAndre. of course not. But at least like a, a a dude like you, like your first name is Cyril, and then that you you'll be in the middle name. Keandre, Keandre, like, oh, uh, god damn it. You know what he is. Yeah. <laughs> Cyril Lewis, he's not like a well, a well qualified candidate. Bring him in. <laughs> Cyril, Keandre Lewis? Oh. Or, or something, Nicole. That's how you know it's a black girl. Middle name, Nicole. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. A, there's so many. There's so many. That's Tia's middle name. <laughs> so many, so many, <laughs> so many black people, I mean, black girls, middle name is Nicole. So Damn, many. I know that's. I wouldn't even think about Tia, but I know someone else with the last name Nicole. Middle name. Middle name Nicole. Yeah, so he ain't many. never gonna meet no last name Nicole. So that's many. weird. That is. It, it, it's their last name on on social media though. Oh yes, I'm uh, Bianca Nicole. Bianca Nicole. Because <laughs> that's Bianca yeah. Nicole. Yeah. But you know, I don't think we have any. Um, there's there's no really. Except for the DeAndre shit, yeah. the the Leticia shit, and like all a, that official black name. Yeah, we don't really have Shaniqua, Jamal. That's what I'm saying. And if, to be honest, all those are like French names. You really wanna? I mean, oh, French uh, prefix, French, <laughs> French, <laughs> French uh, or uh, French origin, <laughs> or, uh, <laughs> French uh, influenced. <laughs> I think Jamal actually is a uh, Muslim or Arab. Like I can see it with two A's. Yeah. Or, uh... Jim Allen. Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, it could be some ancient Kemet shit. Um, like, dude's name, like, Rakim. Like, I instantly think, oh, like, oh yeah, you're Muslim. <laughs> 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 you, if you're not, I'm like, yeah, you, what, what, uh, what, what, uh, what's the, today's mathematics? My, my, my guy, like, you, you for real, like, yeah. Or a name like, uh, Razul. 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 Like, damn. Muhammad is actually one of the most popular names. I think it's the most popular name. Oh, it is. In the world. I can yeah. see that. It's like over a million people. What would be uh, second? Second most popular name. I don't know. What's Asian? What's the most famous Asian name? I don't know. Lee. Lee. Yeah. Damn. Well, no, that's, that's not the last, last name. name. Huh? Yeah. 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 Do they have last names? In Their last names are different than like like I was like I someone explained to me like remember when Yao Ming played for us like yeah, yeah, he didn't have Ming on his shirt. Yeah. 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 So they, someone explained to me why like they do it like uh, some I don't know probably if I can just if I can, I don't remember but don't they like they read oh uh, yeah they read right to left yeah so they don't read left to right so maybe his right name isn't left. Yao Ming maybe his like Ming, yeah. yeah maybe it's like his first name this nigga's name is Ming I don't know I'm asking I don't, I don't know and wow. if you translate it maybe it's like I mean, you, know, you can't really translate names but. But that's the way they say it. Yeah. That's crazy. I don't know. I, I, I don't, Again, I don't, I'm not saying no, that. I'm not saying I do sure. know for a fact they read right to left. They do read right to left? Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, we read left to right. They read right. I mean, we do it the right way. Like, other countries, they'll be like, oh, yeah, we're, we're on, uh, we drive on the right side, on the left side of the road. I'm like, yeah, this, this dumb. This is where you're supposed to drive. No, you're not. No, you're stupid as fuck. Y'all, why are y'all driving on the opposite way of what you're supposed they to do? They do that in the Virgin Islands too. Yeah, it's like it's still oh, in America. We, we don't use feet or inches over here. We use centimeters and meters. Like you're just <sighs> fucking stupid. Like we're the only country that does that though. Yeah, because all the other countries are stupid. That's part nah, of the we we probably fucking up. No, 
Mm-mm. We made it to space first. Nah, I think we fucked it no, up. No, we made. I mean, not to space first. We made it to the moon first. So obviously, I don't believe that either. Wasn't there like the reunion for that too? Mm-hmm. A couple days ago. I don't know. We the made fake it. land moving. We made it moon to the moon. landing. All right. So you come. It was coming up uh, area. It was fake. Coming up to area fifty one or not? What's up? Nah, fuck you're not that. I'm not fucking fuck with no goddamn aliens, <laughs> and nobody went to the moon. So you're not trying to see them aliens. Is that like a movie or something? I don't even get that. Well, you didn't see the meme? Mm-hmm. Where it comes from? I just I just keep hearing about it, but I don't know the like, origins uh, of it. Okay, I don't so, know what's really going on. So this dude, he created a Facebook page to, um, it was like basically saying like, uh, let's all storm Area 51. They can't stop all of us. It was like on September 14th, we're all going to go to uh, Area 51 and we're going to uh, we're gonna go see them aliens. So a lot of people join. Like, why is on, why is that date so significant though? Like, what's oh, that? I think it was just a date. It's a regular, show, so yeah, regular date. Plan of, like, so we have time to play. So everybody talking about we're gonna go to Area Fifty One. Wow. From my understanding, those are really gonna do it too. From my understanding, like you get to the fence, like the outside gate, then you have another like fifteen miles before you actually get to Area Fifty One. So there's that. And what they, don't they like practice like nuclear bombs over there or something? Yeah, yeah. I mean, they do all. I think it's like it's a it's a military base, so they're strapped. First off, that's what they do a lot of the MK Ultra uh, mind control. <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> and, and y'all all they're probably not gonna kill. They're probably not gonna kill nobody. It's going a lot of people just gonna end up missing, and they're all gonna be fucking projects. I ain't fucking with that shit. <laughs> nah, I'm not fucking with it. I would go just to watch people get fucked up. But see, the problem they're is, gonna sweep your ass yeah, exactly, too. exactly. Bring his ass too. Are oh, you coming with us? That's what you like that would be fun. I tell you, they are gonna get you first. Yeah, that's true. That would be fun though. Do some shit like that. Like, let's throw in the white house. No, actually, let's. No, no let's not I'm not trying to. I'm I might edit that. Shit. I might edit that out. I'm, no, that's just not store in the white house. That's a terrible idea. Uh, Why would we do that? Huh? Why would we do that anyways? Hey, I'm not saying you should do this, but if you really want to get Trump up out of there, that's what you would do, right? Yeah, ain't nobody real. Or ain't, whoever is president. He's not that real. Exactly. They're not that that's real. What, that's niggas what, is not, niggas that's are what not going about, to do that. That's why I don't care about politics. People are like, they, all they do is talk shit. And then, uh, like, here's the thing about politics. Just because you vote does not mean that's not where it stops. Uh, the book stops here. Like, like okay, look. <laughs> th- this is how it works. This is how it works. It goes two ways. You vote, the person you want to win wins. Mm-hmm. You sit on your ass, you don't, you don't hold them accountable for anything because you that's the person you wanted to have win. So, you don't, you don't do shit. So then, you, or then you vote, and the person you didn't want to have win wins, and all you do is sit there and complain about this dude. And talk shit the whole time. The fact of the matter is, your life, and I'm not saying that the voting process isn't important, I'm not saying that uh, you shouldn't take take uh, politics seriously. What I'm saying is, don't think you're holier than thou just because you stay, no, I stay informed on politics. Get the fuck out of here. What, what you're supposed to do is, you're supposed to vote. And then whoever is it, it, uh, uh, whoever wins, you hold their ass accountable. You call their you call their office like, hey, you know, potholes is fucked up. So you start petitions. You do shit like that. That's how you. That's how you. You make your vote count. Uh, what you do is you complain, and then yeah. you complain, and yeah. you complain some more. That's all it is. And then you make sure you rally up a whole bunch of other people, mm-hmm. and you complain more. Yeah. And we make up fake issues. Yeah. And we complain about those. Well, that's but, how you do it. That's the American way. Well, yeah, that's true. Yeah. That's the American way. Well, and we don't actually fix the issues. Yeah. We just complain about them. And, you and know, put band-aids over you know, them and make and, and maybe the next person will fix them. Well, maybe. You know you could easily beat anybody <laughs> in any political debate ever. It's, it's very simple. What would you, what you, should use their, you should use the argument. The argument they uh was a uh uh What's a political thing that you believe in and that I'll argue you against it? Uh, immigration. Immigration. You, uh, you think we need lesser immigration or more immigration? Like you, no, I just think if you want to come to the country, maybe you should just just do it the right way. Okay. Illegally. Yeah, go through the so process. So what you're saying is you think... You no think, and no and maybe not the people that are already here, here grant them... What is that? The whatever they get, just the oh, you you guys are already here, so you're just citizens now. So basically, what you're saying is you think we should be harder should be on back. immigration. Huh? Yeah, I don't mind shooting people back to where they came from. Okay. They came here. Remind me to talk about that because I agree with you there. But I don't the argument against it is <laughs> all I have to do is say, well, 
don't you believe that we all here, uh, we all uh, should have three un un unalienable rights? The right to 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 live. I can't remember what the unalienable rights are, but basically, pursuit of happiness. Life Aren't they pursuing life, happiness? Live, uh, yeah, life, life liberty, liberty and life, life, liberty, and the pursuit yeah. of happiness. Don't you, don't you think that they deserve to have life, liberty, and pursuit of happiness? Oh, well, of course they I, do. of course I believe they do. All right then. Just like like people be like, uh, yeah, oh, gay men shouldn't be married. Well, don't they think that they should have the uh, the right to pursue happiness? Of course. What does that what does that make them happy? Well, I am not on my just thinking. Well, then, is that's why politics is all bullshit? Yeah, but when you talking about they're talking, he's talking about citizens of this country. That is, but that's We're not really talking that's, about that's, that's the thing. everybody. <laughs> this is the thing. This is what bothers me. Fucked up part. Everybody, fucked up. everybody sitting there complaining about like this people on the board, blah blah blah. blah. Oh my god, how can you treat them like this? Yeah, it's fucked up. I agree. But there's an Wait, argument to be made. They are breaking the law. Should they be treated treated nicely? Let, Cause let's be real. Me or you breaks the law. We're gonna go to we're gonna go to jail. And it's not gonna be great. Don't want to send us. It's not gonna be great in if prison. If they could, they would. Just yeah, true. <laughs> uh, so, they tried. So we sit there and we want to act all holier than thou. That like, oh my God, how could you ever do this? But they are breaking the law. I, I understand that they have a family here. Like, you know, we're trying to escape a poor country with this that, and the third. But yeah. I, I, and, I, and I think most of them are good people. I really do. Yeah. I don't think. No, you sound like Trump for real. No, no they're good people. <laughs> most of them are good people. <laughs> but it's just, it's crazy, though, could, to, to say that they could just basically just break the, like, the, the law. law. Yeah. It, it's crazy. Yeah. But you know what? It's a certain, it's a certain, um, Population of the country that wants you know a lot of those people here because they're gonna get votes for that certain party. Well, of course. So, well, you know, you know that turns into votes. Exactly. So. Just just like everybody's like, we're so afraid that uh, if white people are gonna be outnumbered by twenty, thirty something. I'm like, no, mm -hmm. you're just gonna be like, if you come from this part of Mexico, you're considered ca Caucasian. They they did it with they did it with the Italians. They do it with the Irish. They did it with the Scottish. They they already doing it. They are they already claiming. Shit, we, might, anyway, we shit. might be white so I'm like, hey, niggas. I know it's been a little rough. Nah, they ain't gonna call me white. They won't call you white. <laughs> they ain't gonna call me white. <laughs> they they like, all right, look. I know you guys kinda went through something for four hundred years. So as it's a little bit as little bit. reparations, we're gonna consider y'all white. Re well reparations are tough though. Why? Because it's like how do we know? Like once once people start really doing their genealogy, oh, they're gonna find out they was not they slaves. Like, Damn, yeah. bro, I'm not a slave. bro, you know you know it's gonna be so great. I wish we could really go back because you know everybody always be like, hell no, nah, I'd have been a slave that uh, I'd have been the, the nigga that revolted. I'd have been on that Turner side. I'd have been with the Harriet Tubbins. You gonna be real mad? You go back and look at your your genealogy and find out your your, 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 your whole family was house niggas. <laughs> Be real bad when you Niggas go back. You're gonna be pissed. Be like, damn, I ain't gonna get no dollar. I ain't gonna damn. get no damn nothing. I come from the I come from the guy that ratted on that time. Or your family might have slaves. Shit. Yeah. It, <laughs> you know, I mean, my ass quite slaves. frankly, we we're not 100 percent black. Like, nah. We like nobody's 100 percent anything. Exactly. So, so I'm what? sure we have white uh, white in our in our families that own slaves. That's where I mean. That's I'm light skinned so obviously it's there somewhere. It's, 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 exactly. So it's there somewhere. And they, I mean, that's what they, like, my grandmother explained to me, explained that to me a long time ago. Like I was like, how come we're not black? Like, cause my grandmother's super white. Like, oh shit, super light, not white. And you said that was super light skinned uh, And I was like, how I saw my great grandma. Was. She was really, really, really light skinned Yeah, and I asked her. I was like, we're not. How come we're not black? We we always say we're black, but we're not black. Like one of my friends. She was like, well. You know, when we were slaves, the slave master would come in and have his way with. I can't remember exact where she. Oh, yeah, I'm yeah. sure she'd be like, "Yeah, the slave master come in and wreck the shit out of niggas and, and do whatever oh. fuck he wanted." I doubt <laughs> that she did that. So she's like ex explaining that, and like, oh, so like a lot of them, the women that were like the female slaves were basically treated like sex to toys to. And it was, it was the other way around too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was the other way around. I hate you, dude. Like, I hate like, you. like the wife, like the wife, uh, the wife, um, uh, the, the wife, 
Bored with her, her husband, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. boring. Because, you know, that's how women do. They get bored, but so got that piece. Oh, my God. Uh, Boredom and jealousy. You know what I'm saying? Like, bitch, I'm outside whipping niggas. Uh, uh, I'm not actually working, but I'm whipping niggas, you know, from sun to sun down to make sure them niggas are in line. What you doing in here? Sit fucking knitting. <laughs> and you're like, oh, I just wish my husband had time, more time for me. Bitch, I'm running off a whole goddamn plantation. That's why they was fucking with the house niggas. Yeah, that's why they was fucking with the young bucks. I'd have been trying to do that too, though. I'd have been that nigga trying, trying to cr crack crack some white cheeks. Hell yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah! I'd have been trying to get on the whiteies. I would have had. Mess. I would have had all the plantation hoes. Period. I would have been on. <laughs> I'm just, nah, that's not funny. I really would have had them all. Like, we would have been good. Bro. I probably would have had my little sideies over here, the other plantation that's down there, rode the bike down there. Or, uh, you might have went too far. What you mean? You might have went too Where far. Where you get the bike from? Bro, you might have went what, too far. What century are you in? Oh, they didn't have bikes back then, huh? Where bikes? are you getting a bike? You're black. Who gave you a bike? <laughs> what you mean? They I'm barely gave all. you a horse. You ain't get no bike. Get <laughs> you bike. barely got a horse. I'm gonna get a bike. It's like not only is he fucking all the slaves at his massa house, he's fucking, been, yes, he's fucking the other plantations. Is. I would have been all miles, the miles down. Miles, that's what I'm saying. I like, oh my god, Cyril trying to escape. No, no, I'm not. Just I'll to, be just, back. I'll be, I, I swear to God, I'll be back. I'm just trying to Hell go fuck. Yeah. And I would have been getting in good with the house, and I would have been getting good with the field niggas. Bro, I'd have been good with everybody. You had, been a, a you had the 1800 version of AIDS, whatever that was. Was it fucking syphilis? Nah, I would have been. I'd have been a socialite. We would have been a good. socialite. Yeah, Bro, he's, he's gonna, gonna have to play. Slavery was fucked up. It like, was. Why do you think? Why do you think you live in this? Like, hey, nigga, I'd have been. I've been shot and did Slaves didn't have a lot of. They didn't have a lot of time on their hands, though. As Bro, much, what the fuck are you talking on the about? weekends and shit. There was, there was no fucking time. weekend. God, what the fuck wrong with you? They didn't have Saturday and Sunday back then. No, yes, they did. You know, you know where Saturday and Sunday come from? Saturday and Sunday. Nah, they didn't have Saturday and Sunday in eighteen. Well, the days existed. That's what I'm talking about. But, but we didn't. Yeah, get, but they wasn't getting off day. Like what? They were off on oh, Sundays. I know you're a history major. We didn't get. They were off on Sundays. We didn't get days off until the 1900s because people was we they uh the what is the the work agency. labor laws? Well, yes. What's the agency for? it? Um, Religion, they gave them Sundays off regardless. Okay, because well, of yes. percentage. They, they might have Sundays. Never, so they always had Sundays they off. They needed the Sunday off. They just went nah. to church, and then when they got back, like, my field better be tended to. Like, nah, they got, it was. It depends on who you We can't say every single slave worked every Sunday okay. from 1609 to fucking 19, 1865. We can't say that. Mm -hmm. And there were still slaves in the 1900s, too. Yeah, I mean, sharecropping is you know, basically. Yeah. Same shit. It's basically the concept. Bro, well, why do you think they had what in what well, world? they had time though. They, they what oh, so what y'all they, they 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 had free time. They got they, they had got the free nights and weekends like <laughs> what the fuck you talking about? They were not working twenty four seven. No, they had to sleep. When the, when the, the light when the when the sun went down, they that's did, what they, that was their that was a free time. That's the sleep. Thing. But that's that's the misconception of slaves had a life. They weren't just all work. They what? had lives. They did. They had personalities. They well, yes. Even when you were a kid, you were you weren't even working all that time. You were playing with the other with the, uh, with the white kids. Playing. They, no, they were. Nobody's saying that they didn't have personalities. They're humans. But, but they were still they working. They, they still had free time. What free time? They had. But they no, were not. <laughs> if, they're, if they're not working twenty four seven, then what are they doing? When the when the uh, sun went down, they went to sleep. It was the eighteen. And then they just woke up. And when yes. they and they didn't speak, they didn't talk, they didn't chat with anybody. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. That's what I'm saying. That's free time. When we go to work and we're chilling and we're talking and shit, is that not free time? No. We're not going to work and then going straight to the warehouse and then going to go deliver and not saying shit and not just having no conversation. Yeah, but then that's not saying that. When you say that's free time, free, time. Free, when you say free time, that instantly it that means that you're not on clock. I mean. When I say free time, I mean in time that's not dedicated to just work, whether you on clock or not. Like you're doing something that's else. Not, that's not how slavery worked, man. Right? I'm not saying that's not. <laughs> they were slaves, yes. Yeah. But they still had time to laugh, joke, and have life. They did. They weren't just slaves. I mean, yeah, but I'm not. I don't. That's like, not all I, they were. But I don't want to. I give, I understand what you're saying, but I don't. I I don't think. I don't think you're wording it in a way that. What's the what's the bad wording about it? Because instantly people gonna hear what you're saying and instantly think like, what is he like? Because first off, people are dumb. Uh, nah, I think they, people are smarter than that. They gonna they, think they, you. When you're a slave, I think they understand that you're a slave and yeah. that you're working. 
but I just want people to understand that you're you weren't working twenty four seven. Yeah. You had free time. You yeah. did. Like, yeah, yeah what is free but time? But I think when people are going to think that you're 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 downplaying how? how? Huh? What is the downplay? Because you're saying free time as if though they was like going chill on the couch, smoking a blunt type of shit. Like free time. Well, you're saying but they free were time. chilling though. They had time to teach people how to read. They didn't have time to figure out a read. So I'm there weren't other slaves that. teaching other slaves how to read. I'm not saying that. But they, they were most of the time doing telling, that shit. They weren't telling secret. other stories. They were about back in the homeland. They weren't sharing songs and shit. Yeah, they they weren't doing that shit in secret. I don't think they, they couldn't just openly you know read. How, but you know the slave quarters weren't just like right next to the house. No. They were far, far, far away. Of course, you can have miles away. You can't have, a, so, you can't have that's what I'm saying. slaves living next to you trying to, you know. Fuck you shot your wife. People did, and that's what happened. Yeah, you trying to But my thing is, I don't want to give the misconception that slaves were just, they were just robotic, robotic people, and they just did one thing the whole time. They didn't talk to other people, and they weren't. Well, I mean, having kind sex of work. fucking. And, like, there were people going to other slave plantations and yes. fucking other, like, yes. they were doing stuff. Yeah, like but that. they're doing it. They were still. They were doing it. They were doing it. <laughs> in, 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 they would have got caught. They would have been dead. Nah. If you get caught leaving your plantation, it depends, you're going to it depends die. on who you, the who the slave master. Oh, they got just friendly slave masters. They, I'm not saying they had friendly ones, but they had ones that yeah, lenient slave masters. They did. I that was the way you got the people to work harder. Was I, being lenient, I, I, whipping them all the time. The wasn't the, <laughs> there were not all the slave masters were just whipping their slaves all fucking day. I'm not. I'm not disagreeing. <laughs> you won't get you <laughs> not disagreeing with that, but lenient slave master. Like I feel like that's an oxymoron. Like you said lenient. that. I didn't say that. I was, I asked, I was like, well, I mean, and then when I say, well, I mean, I guess that's what you want to say, but they were more lenient than the other slave masters. I'm sure there was levels to master. master, but you're still that's a like, slave. That's like, like I'm a lenient but white beater. Like but, I beat my wife, which is not much. Of the so you're still a slave. Yeah. So at the end of the day, your status is still a fucked up status. Yes. But let's not act like these people weren't humans and they didn't no. do things. They weren't no. dancing and joking no, and having fun. But that's the thing. I get that's what you're saying, but I don't want someone else to what? to. To they, misunderstand yeah, what you're trying to say, they probably gonna get it now. I mean, you're saying, I mean, you 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 have multiple times said it's fucked up to be a slave. Like, it is. It, it is like the status of being a slave is yes, fucked, fucked up. But you gotta understand, slaves made the best of all, of their situation. Well, see, that's what you need. That's what you need to start off with. You didn't say it like that. <sighs> Well, you you got it out of me. <laughs> you got it. You know, all I'm saying is the way you were wording it is like it's coming off. I didn't off think the words it. were bad. I'm like, Mia, what do you think? Okay, because I was about to chime in. I I think it's chime the, chime. <laughs> I, I I think the fact that you're using the phrase free time, the the oh. connotation with free time means that I am giving an opportunity of leisure to, to chill do, to just hang out. Mm -hmm. And I think what you're trying to say is the time that they weren't working because they didn't work and never sleep. So I think what you're trying to say is the time that they weren't working, they actually did interact with each other. The reason yeah. the reason that it sounds misconstrued is because you started off with talking about how you was gonna be like, I'm gonna be right back I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk my fifteen miles. <laughs> obviously and, that and, and was, get boogie, but then I'm gonna be right obviously back. Obviously that but, was but and also that was right, bad. and yes, I, I don't really would have been doing that. No, I don't care but, but then and also <laughs> the fact wow. that you said that you were gonna be a socialite and you got the whiteies and the sideies as you used I to get yes, you said sideies. I would have had the sideies as the whiteies but the black music, <laughs> the <Mexican city. laughs> but the, the fact that you was talking about being a socialite and all that, and then free time, like I don't know about y'all, but the first thing I think of is when I'm being allowed free time, I'm thinking as a student, like my teacher's not making me work, yeah. but my teacher is like also not whooping my ass either. So, so I that's think that's why. Like they okay, the make, word maybe okay, the word free when yeah. we're talking about slave. Yeah. Okay, I can understand that. Yeah. Saying free time, maybe. Time that they gave them to just say no, they didn't once, give they, them once time. they were off the field, once they that's were off like, the field, that's the thing they weren't giving them time, they, they just the couldn't work the in the dark, like it's not they didn't have flashlights. But that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't, re I, I really, and and this is just from what I know, mm -hmm. slaves, yeah, they worked seven to seven or sun up to sun down, time. but there was not like they didn't have breaks. Like, there were yeah. breaks, I'm sure there were breaks, they had to feed them. I mean, you know what I'm saying, there were multiple breaks, yeah. I, don't, I, mean, I mean, yeah, they had to feed them. They, some of them also had to cook it. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, yeah. But I don't know how much... And there were holidays. Break. I mean, they still had their holidays. And there, there was... I mean, there was... Do you really think they were giving them holidays? Yes! Yes! Depending on who your master was, yes. 
Now, some masters might have been a little more like, nah, we working through holidays. Bruh. Some masters might have been like, oh, no, we're taking holidays. Holidays off. like what? Christmas, Thanksgiving, New Year's. That's it. That's it. They, all these, new, these they holidays we celebrate are new. We so, they, Columbus Day was not a thing until... I'm not talking about Columbus Day. Uh, uh, I'm not Labor talking Day, about Memorial Martin, Luther, Day. Martin Luther King Day. They didn't. No, they definitely didn't get that. The <laughs> fucking President's <laughs> Day? No. They, 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 all this shit. All I'm talking about them. Christmas, Thanksgiving. That's about it. New Year's is, new is, Year's. A, is a relatively new uh, celebration. Uh, they was probably giving them, after 70, 70, uh, 76, they was giving them uh, 4th of July too. Maybe, yeah. I don't, I don't know when we started. And I'm, not saying, and I'm not trying to downplay slavery. Like, that's not what I'm that's, saying. See, that's the thing. I know you're oh, not yeah. trying to, but I'm saying but, someone else that, that, that listening to this conversation would be like, he what the fuck? Like, don't, no. leave, don't leave anybody's interpretation to be no, and I'm not, and I'm saying, what you're saying. And I'm not downplaying slavery I, or anything. I, I saying absolutely was good get what and, you're like, saying. None of that. Like, but, but what I'm, I'm just talking about if I was in that position, you'd be wild. The the way I think I would be as I'm I, how I you am. You would today. be getting towed up because you a mess. Oh, and your slave sure. master would be. But I probably you. would probably be running. No, I can't do. No. Like I probably like I always say if I did something to go to jail. Yeah. Like you have to catch me dead. Yeah. Like I'm not going to jail. Like, uh -huh. I'm gonna die before I go to jail. Yeah. But you talking to a person that's never been arrested, none of that shit. So yeah. Well. Yeah, I'm not. But what I'm saying is like. With my personality, I'm like, shit, I don't think I would just sit there and just take things. Like, I would probably just do things my way. Well, yeah, but that's because you've been uninstitutionalized your entire life. These people... That's, and there, but there were other people, uh, but not every slave was like that. They no, were, I'm not saying yeah, that. That's but that's saying. the problem. That's that's the goes back to what I was saying, where people were like, I wouldn't have been slave doing this, that, and third. If, if, if all you knew from childbirth was, I was born a slave, my mom was a slave, my dad was a slave... But it depends on it depends on how you was how you was raised. Harriet Tubman, we just talked about her. She was her parents were slaves. She was born into slavery, mm -hmm. but she didn't know how to read and write. Right. But her parents was telling her about uh, about how they could achieve freedom and yep. do all this, and they fed that into her mind, and then yeah. she ended up leading the Underground Railroad. Now right. she's on a twenty dollar bill. That's crazy. Actually, I think they took that away. That's something. crazy that you named one person, and there was like what. And that's 500 well, million that's people the most, that were. <laughs> that was, that's the most famous one. But you can go on your Googles and you can look at hell of the slaves that yeah, did the same probably, thing. Probably like, and then she's just know. the most famous one because that's the one that they write children's books of course, about. Of course. But there's other slaves I, I can't name right now because I'm not good well, with all the names. Well, but that's, that's just the most famous For every one Nat Turner, have. there's 60,000 uh, 60, people that's like, oh, don't do that. That'll get you killed. You know what I'm saying? Because they just didn't, like, I'm not saying that they were wrong because they just didn't know. Like, you just yeah, I mean, yeah, that. There was some, I mean, you, Harriet even you said it herself. She, she would have saved more slaves if they knew they were in slavery. That was actually not, that's a, that's not a real quote. She didn't say that. That's, a lot of people credit her for saying that, though. Well, I don't know. I think she did say that, though. No, that's not But we don't, obviously, neither one of us were there, so we don't know. Well, I mean, but, for all we know, we can't, tell, but, tell me but from what, what historians say and people that study her life, yeah. this is what they say that she said. There's mm -hmm. there's like four or five Harriet Tubman, like they spent 60, 30 years, whatever, how many years studying just her. She has a movie coming out, actually. She does. Yeah. And I, I've been reading about that shit all day. Yeah. The movie or Harriet Tubman? No, just Harriet. Oh. I mean, I knew about Harriet Tubman anyways, Bro. but just refreshing. What, what, what do you think about like old nigga names? Harriet, like imagine me and a Harriet. Oh, but what? I'll go back to that. But I don't like the fact that she's being played by somebody from the UK. Oh, oh for really doing that? Yeah, you know, God, again. Yeah. Uh, yeah, again. They always do that. Like that's just annoying. All we got is fucking Chadwick Boseman. He plays. <laughs> it, he plays everything, but like he played Black Panther, Jackie Robinson. That's what I'm saying. Like I just James Brown. At least he's American. At least, but I don't <laughs> even know if he his lineage is. From America, like I don't that. Know. But, I don't know. But pretty much, I'm pretty sure we can get a a, a, a a Jesse or not, I was gonna say Jesse Jackson, but we can get a, a somebody a, a regular, not a regular. Sounds weird, but we can get a descendant of a slave from America to do American, uh, 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 African American to play. Well, if that's the word you want to like give us. Can they do the, that? Oh, besides fucking Chadwick Boseman and, and Michael B. Jordan, black black actors, most of them are coming from. The UK, the Get Out nigga, UK. Uh, there's a, a bunch of Netflix. There's a movie. There's a Netflix show called All American. 
Yeah, UK. And not the dude is not even from America. America. Yeah. It's not a Netflix show, but, but... It's not? It's on Netflix. It's a CW show. Oh, really? I yeah. thought that was a Netflix original. Nah. I don't know why. Netflix don't make nothing that fire. It wasn't all that, though. This is true. The, his dad, I don't, I don't like the way he acts. What's his name again? Ta Tay Diggs? Tay Diggs, yeah. He didn't... That's not a role for him. What do you mean? Playing a coach? Oh, he was, I like he was way it. too soft. Well, yes. Way too soft yes. to be a coach. But it's a... It's a it's supposed to be like, I mean, if it's on CW, it's the, the market is going to be teenage female. Oh, so, they want it for the yeah, I mean, that's, or the... I mean, you, 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 they, if you want to see a real coach, go watch fucking Friday Night Tights or uh, oh, yeah. Last Chance You. Like, yeah. as a person that played sports Diggs growing up, we did not, it was not that nice. The coaches were not nice. <laughs> Tate Diggs was like, okay, you can do it. Yeah. Cool. Uh, all, you had to do, you. all you had to do was ask this nigga twice. And he was going to give in. Like, like, talk, have you ever heard a coach say, I believe in you? No. <laughs> coaches don't believe in They don't tell you that, at least. Exactly. <laughs> you ever heard a coach say, They like, might say it like one-on-one, -on -one, <laughs> like when they just buy yourself, you know, I believe in you. But mm -hmm. when they around everybody, no. no they got for Sean. No. They're not Sean. Sure. They got Sean. No. Sure they're, they're not going to do that. But like, one time my coach made me stand up in front of everybody because <laughs> he said I wasn't looking him in the eye. When I was staring, like, Charles, like my best friend Charles, he was like, I know you were staring him at the at damn his eye because I was looking dead at you. And I was like, well, why the fuck would you not have to stand yeah, I up? I was say his name. So. Uh, you know, I, I mean, we're both light skinned and look like each other. <laughs> you probably didn't have glasses on that day. But literally, like, Just, bro, I was looking dead like, 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 not like, bro, I'm like literally like as close as like me, I am to me as about as far as we were. I was looking square at him. Like, on, on he had warned me at first. He was like, you, uh, I can't remember the, my practice number was. He was like, hey, why, why, uh, when I'm talking, make sure you're looking. And I was just like, oh, okay. Uh, I was confused. And um, he was like, hey, all right, you know, since you can't uh, take a knee and, and pay attention, uh, stand up till I'm done talking. Damn, you really caught your ass. At least he didn't make me run. Like, you, like yeah. in football, they used to be like, we hey, have, well, go touch the fence. We used to have something called Opportunity Club. Oof. That sounds tough. Yeah, opportunity club. You get in trouble. I feel like it has no opportunity. No opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> it was just up downs for hundred yards. Ooh. That was Actually, two hundred yards down, down and back. Yeah. And then if you got more trouble, it was another. You know, it was just however much trouble you got in, it was down and back. Well, but it was called, cool that we had to go to EC. They called our shit called Fun Bunch. Was it fun? Was it fun? I like Opportunity Club. I think that's a really cool day. They made us do Halos. What the hell is that? You take a tire, you have to run over with it over your head. Oh shit! Yeah. Your boy's right though. Ain't no angels of it. <laughs> <laughs> Your boy's it's the right. This is the absence of angels. <laughs> Are you? Are we, oh, <laughs> none of that was recorded. <laughs> All right, well let's wrap this shit up. Uh, you see, it got a little heated today. <laughs> just a little. Nah, I'm, I'm just can't wait for you to get called a sellout. Piece of shit. Can't sell me out. <laughs> Blacks nigga in this motherfucker. Anyways, we here, anti-social, we out, we doing this thing. Uh, just remember, y'all, keyboard has two shifts, so it never sleeps. I don't even know what the fuck that means. <laughs> <laughs> like, I literally was like, oh man, that was profound. <laughs>